fire hoses, and handcuffs, the tools for two very distinct and respected professions. And occasionally, those jobs intersect. When I was 17 years old, I had a guy to come to me and ask me if I wanted to be a junior fireman. Lieutenant Earl Bashir has been a loyal DOC employee almost as long. When he's not working here at Jackie Brandon Correctional Center, Earl is a volunteer fireman. It's an adrenaline rush. It's an adrenaline rush. 927 is my call number. When his number is called, he races to the aid of his neighbor. And I might get off work here at 2 o'clock, and the minute I get to the car, my pager's going off in the car. If it's going off, I'm headed to the scene, wherever it's at. House fires, wildfires, we have we had one fire. We were on it for like over 72 hours. We have pulled people from cars. We have had to cut people out. Whatever the emergency, you're there. Whatever it is, if they need us, we'll roll both of our tankers. Earl Bashir has been serving Longtown. We're north of McAllister, east of Eufaula. And surrounding communities for two decades. I've had this gear here, I believe, a year and a half, almost two years. It has gotten a lot of use. Not once has he accepted any compensation, except for the occasional thank you. When you're a public servant like Earl Bashir, thank you is all you really need. There's sometimes you wonder, man, why am I here? But I know I'm helping that person, or I'm helping those people out. It's helping the community. I mean, you never know when your place might be the place that's fixing to be on fire.